Hello everyone, welcome to Haley Moon Tarot. This is your a weekly singles love reading for Leo. How are you guys, single Leos? Hope you're well. See what your energies are this week. New love prospects or connections. Who's interested in you coming your way or vice versa? Okay, so we have 10 of wands. So a cycle coming to an end here. Uh, this is to do with uh, burdens, responsibilities. Someone pulling their weight. Oh, yeah. Beautiful energy. Look at that. I feel there's someone here who's looking for a partner. This definitely has to do with a strong financial foundation. Two people coming together, pulling their weight. So this could be an energy of someone committing to this. Beautiful. Oh, I see success. Yeah. So I see the six of wands. I see a victory here. Now, I feel it has to do with long-term planning. Two people pulling their weight, planning. So I feel like you have someone here who uh, definitely has a little ego. <laughs> uh, but I feel it has to do with the long, long-term long planning, building a foundation. This could be someone around you looking for a partner, someone who pulls their weight uh, financially, helping with the household chores, the duties, the responsibility, because it has to do with success. So this is really nice. Long-term planning. Beautiful. And we have three of pentacles. Yeah, I see teamwork, cooperation, and compromise. There's definitely compromise is going to be needed here. Lovely. It's not always going to be perfect. Sometimes another person has to work a little harder. But it's an energy of it coming back to you because I feel this is all about a victory, uh, success. So there's someone here around you I feel that's very much interested in this. I see a Sagittarius energy. Uh -huh. So someone who's dated a lot of people, never really found anyone I feel that they were compatible with or that pulled their weight in a relationship. So it has to do with someone who hasn't had that success. Uh, now they're looking at you in this way. See, Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment and happiness. Oh yeah, we've got a person here who's uh, definitely um, wanting this victory. So beautiful. Look at that. The high priestess trusting your intuition. You may know who this is, but this is a person I feel who is very wise into me. I see. So this is what I feel this person's hoping for. Could be a secret admirer. Could be someone looking to see if you're giving attention to anyone else. What's going on? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, definitely the uh, cooperation and compromise compatibility. This is team player. This is someone looking for a team player. You know, someone to share the day-to-day -day life responsibilities. And I, I feel it's about both people, though. Both people getting what they want here. There's things being acknowledged. This person's acknowledging this energy, you see. They're acknowledging where they haven't had success before. So it could be where, you know, maybe they didn't pull their weight in a past relationship and now uh, they, they're seeing this energy. Because it is an into me, I see energy with the high priestess. Little Pisces energy, nurturing and caring. Two people uh, putting all their cups on the table, sharing their feelings, cooperating and compromising. This is gorgeous. Uh, Ten of Wands. Yeah, see, this is someone who's choosing their battle. See, it's choosing what's worth fighting for. So it's about just pulling your weight, being responsible and reliable. This is somebody who here who is becoming more decisive. But there's a past energy where someone's kind of looking at that. Why something wasn't successful in the past. Why you know, they, you know, didn't have a successful relationship. So this is a person acknowledging something into themselves. Because I do feel like uh, they feel this way about you. Whoever this is, this is what's coming towards you so yeah wow uh, four of wands yeah see it's someone who was stubborn and selfish refusing to budge refusing to give in in the past see this is someone who made that choice so i feel like whoever this is is someone who's leaving that energy behind so this is because they want to have a victory this is and the reason is is because they actually see a future here okay it's something worth fighting for so <laughs> some person making a choice very decisive but that, that, that past energy is something they're leaving behind there it is you got a person who wants to start something here they're offering you something okay it's a start of building a solid foundation this is two people sharing their feelings and building a foundation on on love um, both people being happy making each other happy doing what you need to do by being a team player so very nice oh, so let's look at that see this person's looking very curious they're very curious about this so it's a person choosing their words or keeping something to themselves 
Okay, so uh, like I say, it's someone who chooses their words wisely. Yeah, a very curious person, uh, being very logical. Mm hmm. Tell me about this page of swords. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, see, it's an energy of change. This is somebody feeling on top of the world. And I'm going to tell you, whoever this is, it could be someone coming back around, but it's someone who's uh, gone through a lot of change, a lot of personal growth. Into me, I see. Yeah, this is someone who knows they need to change. And I feel it's here because this is someone who's definitely wanting this energy. They, this is long term, okay? Someone who's going with the flow, just seeing how things work out, seeing how it evolves. So, yeah, they're keeping something to themselves. And this could even be yourself here. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Clarity on the Six of Wands, yeah. So there's someone waiting to see how things go. So I feel that someone is just kind of taking a moment here you know this has to do with the future someone here who maybe feels like it's a little too late but i'm gonna tell you it's not and this is the energy of looking out there you see somebody here who's uh, been waiting for someone that they uh, pulls their weight someone who shares the day-to-day -day life responsibilities long-term planning success victory so whatever it is you've been waiting for i feel like it's here <laughs> this is someone who is in the energy of you know, long term, okay? Yeah, by pulling their weight. This is something they've been looking for. If you've been looking for that, this is the person who also, because this turns around, you see, this is someone who's also looking for that. So I feel they're going to offer you something. Yeah, it's a very strong offer. This person's very confident. So yeah, and this could be yourself. But see the confidence taming the beast. Yeah, so this energy of just going with the flow. Now, I, I got to tell you, if you've been dating someone, they're actually thinking about marriage and commitment because they are feeling emotionally fulfilled. All their cups are filled. You see, that's the energy. Yeah, they're, but I do think there's still energy of being a little curious. Yeah, so let's just go with the flow, see what happens. This person's taming the beast, I feel. But this has to do with being confident in a decision here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, definitely an energy of the... Of confidence this could be yourself here feeling you know taming the beast keeping some of your feelings to yourself a little bit here until you're 100 percent sure but it has to do with reciprocity two people pulling their weight in a relationship being responsible being reliable you see mm -hmm. somebody wasn't in the past they were being selfish or some of you had a person like that now you've got this person something you've been waiting for okay so i actually feel this is a, a uh, taming your emotions taming that beast okay yeah not not letting your emotions run away with you but I, I feel like it's something you've been waiting for and I feel it's you can feel pretty confident about this this person feels confident okay in love feelings emotions this connection putting all those cups on the table yeah so it's feeling on top of the world here <laughs> this is beautiful abundance is flowing here for both people but it it, it takes both people so we have the high priestess. Yeah, see, someone's walking away from something. Some of you may have been waiting for someone who was stuck and stubborn, refusing to budge. Uh, see, it's an energy of this person. It's an energy of choosing your battles. So I feel like some of you are making a choice here. You may be walking away from someone. Okay, walking away, looking for that soulmate, somebody who's in that energy that you want. What you're waiting for is success. Someone who wants long term. Somebody who pulls their weight and isn't stuck and stubborn, you see. That's the energy. Now, it could be them feeling that way because this is something worth fighting for, you see. This is something that's worth fighting for, and it is going to take cooperation compromise, but there's an energy of compatibility here. This person may actually have some Leo in their chart as well. See Cancer, Pisces, you know, Scorpio energy. Looks more like Pisces. Uh, this could be yourself just trusting your intuition so some of you are definitely moving away from somebody here why because you have something better uh, someone more compatible if you are walking away but i feel it's an energy of the yeah, see it's about building this is walking away from someone who's not putting in the effort they're refusing to budge refusing to give in so whatever you're waiting for is coming okay i feel like a feeling on top of the world change is coming see it's how someone conducts themselves it's about two people having faith acknowledging the successes that you're having in a relationship and acknowledging why something didn't work before 
whether it's yourself or someone else but it has to do with two people having faith in each other to build see it's about building the foundation building it on love sharing your feelings this is an energy where you can put all your cups on the table and this person shows they care that's the way i feel it's about two people um, living a similar lifestyle the things you have in common so it's beautiful but it's how you're conducting yourself staying strong and being brave whatever you're waiting for this is where i feel like this change is going to come you see some of you have someone who's curious about you here it could be somebody coming back around but if that's true if it's a person coming back around i feel like you're moving on because it's the way they conducted themselves so but what you're waiting for is still coming okay you can see that energy yeah it's about having faith see leaving behind things that no longer serve you see, letting go of anything that no longer serves. Habits, traditions. So someone's breaking some habits or just leaving behind an energy of someone who refuses to bud, maybe refuses to commit. Okay. This has to do with your hopes and dreams. So wherever it is you're moving away from or the other person, they're heading in your direction. So trusting two people. See, being very wise, trusting your intuition, your inner knowing. It's like when you just know. Okay. Yeah. Just trust that intuition. I think it's, I feel like some of you are letting go of some old habits, okay, or a person, a situation that no longer serves. That's your intuition guiding you. It's about having faith, two people having faith. But do make sure as you move towards this, acknowledge um, the successes you and this person have as they come towards you, okay? Yeah, let go of old habits, bad habits, beliefs, uh, whatever it is that you need to leave behind. Okay, if you have someone here who uh, keeps coming back around, they're not telling you what you need to know. They're keeping something from you, maybe keeping a secret. You see, that's where you just move on. But what you want is coming. Change is coming. Okay, because I see that waiting. So it's probably an energy of too little, too late. Someone who comes in just looking for attention. They refuse to budge. They're selfish or they're stubborn. Or it's a past relationship you had. So I feel there's a need to cooperate and compromise. And I feel like it's going to happen. Yeah, see, justice, balance, two people treating each other right. See, there's definitely this passionate new beginning. Beautiful. As you're waiting for the one, it's coming towards you. There it is. It's about being confident. So stay confident and be brave. Okay. Probably just keeping your feelings to yourself. If you, when you connect with this person, this next person here, you know, it's an energy of balance and being fair. It's about playing fair, doing things right, you see, and it has to do with commitment. This could be the one. It could be someone seeing you that way as well. Like I say, it's an, uh, a person who may be looking at their past, you know. It's an energy of someone being selfish, being stuck, refusing to budge. But this person sees you as a keeper, more than likely vice versa. Because, um, you know, when the world is there in the center, it has an energy of turning things around. But it's, just, it's like there's just a complete change, see? Emotional fulfillment. You're about to get what you want. The, the kind of person who pulls their weight, shares the day-to-day -day life chores and responsibilities. Somebody who's not stubborn. You know, if it's a person who didn't want to commit and you waited and waited, and then you realize they only come in when they want attention. So it could be someone who's kept you kind of in a stuck situation. Some of you may be holding on to baggage from a past relationship. It's time to let it go now, okay, and release it. And that's where I feel, where you start to go down this path with someone you have things in common with, someone more compatible. But it's also acknowledging the success as you go down this path, letting somebody know you value them, you see their worth and value. So it's letting each other know. Uh, I feel like we have two people who adore each other. You're still keeping some of your feelings to yourself here. But I feel like with the intuition here, you know, the high priestess, <laughs> and you're both wanting the same thing here yeah i it's just I, I see this beautiful emotional fulfillment your cups being full it, it, it's an energy of the future see two people putting all their cups on the table this is a bond forming here this is love okay this is beautiful but yeah let go of old habits traditions beliefs mindsets okay and uh baggage from a past relationship or or like i say it could be a person you were in a relationship it's time to release it now it no longer serves your intuition is guiding you down this path. There it is. You've got an opportunity coming in. Gorgeous energy. There's love here. There's a bond. 
This is two people who are on the same page. You want the same thing, similar lifestyle. You're both adoring each other. So it's an energy of mutual adoration. It's something you both want. You likely have had uh, similar relationships in the past where somebody was stuck or selfish and the other person was one carrying all the weight, doing all the chores, the responsibility. You see, somebody just wouldn't budge. So uh, that energy is definitely being left behind. Too little, too late. But what you're waiting for is coming. Tell me about this three of wands. Yeah, so could be wanting children. You may have had someone who didn't want children, wouldn't give in. They were selfish. Could have been someone who actually, like I say, someone with a big ego, maybe even held themselves above the children. So if there is children involved, but I feel it's an energy where this is uh, definitely what you're waiting for is somebody who's longing for love. It's, I feel two people longing for the same thing. Um, it could be somebody who wants children. Maybe you're a single parent. They love that energy. They may be helping you with your children, helping you with the day-to-day -day responsibilities. So, oh yeah. <laughs> I love it. So whatever was is no more uh, because you're going to let it go. So tell me more about the Six of Cups. It's also an energy when you acknowledge the success between two people. Uh, it starts as a crush doing sweet things for you. So there's someone here doing very sweet things for you, okay? Showing you that they like you, they adore you. Um, and I feel it's where you can feel confident. I feel like you're pretty confident about this. I do. But I also feel this person's feeling the same way. Uh, and I actually feel this is an energy of just waiting for this to move towards a committed energy. If you haven't met this person yet and you're in that waiting stage, it's coming, Okay. Yeah, I, I feel it's going to just start as the crush. They're going to just do sweet things. Others of you, it's just simple. I feel like this is easy. Like you're with this person. Because um, I feel in the if you had a past relationship, it wasn't easy because you had somebody who was selfish and stuck and stubborn, refused to budge or refused to give in. They may have held on to their money, um, whatever, where you were the one holding, um, paying all the bills, doing all the work, you see. Yeah, someone's looking at that energy. But wow, I, I feel like it's going to this this what you're waiting for is going to be simpler. OK, it's going to be much simpler, a lot easier. Yeah, there it is. Uh, connecting through friends and family, uh, traveling in the same social circle. So it's somewhere in your community. But I feel this has to do with a reason to celebrate. I actually feel this is an energy of uh, commitment, somebody committing. So it could be an engagement, doing things in a traditional manner, just kind of going about it in that way. Really nice. Do let go of past baggage. It no longer matters. It doesn't matter anymore because why? You've got uh, someone who's putting all their cups, two people going to put all their cups on the table and share their feelings. This is, a, I feel there's, this is an energy of commitment in marriage where this is going. Okay, so there it is. Two people manifesting each other, maybe even mirroring each other a little bit here with things that have happened in your life. You know, being in a relationship where you felt kind of stuck because of financial issues as well. Yeah, but I, I you know, I got to tell you, it's about being confident. It's really about being brave, being confident. I also see a lot of kindness and compassion. See, someone sees you as strong, confident, brave, someone who's just right, you see. Um, but you have to do what's right for you. And it has to do with, I do see a physical attraction, absolutely. Um, but it has to do with growth. Somebody's going through a lot of personal growth. But it's an energy of being, what you're passionate about here. It's two people who are passionate about some same things. So there's a bond forming. And we're going to. Yeah, you're going to manifest each other by putting all your cups on the table. So what you're doing here is basically building a solid foundation. Okay? You're building it solid, doing things right, starting things off on the right foot. So beautiful. Very nice energy. Yeah. See, taking lessons learned from the past, moving forward calmly and peacefully. Two people getting to know each other and a bond forming. Ooh, you're definitely leaving the past in the past here. Yeah. Somebody who probably wouldn't commit because they were protecting them, themselves, their house, their home, their money. Okay. Being selfish. More worried about themselves than their family. You know. 
Yeah. So I, I, I definitely can see this beautiful energy of moving forward. Yeah, you're about to get something you want here, but I do see a little being careful what you wish for. Okay, I feel like you can be confident that this person, I, you're probably keeping that to yourself, but I feel that they want to commit. Okay, I see someone offering you this cup. You have this opportunity or it's an opportunity. So I see you taking a little pause, looking at things from a different perspective kind of seeing things different. You may not always agree on everything, right? You may have to agree to disagree, but there's always the energy of, of compromising. Uh, and just, uh, I feel some of you bent over backwards to please somebody in the past. You sacrificed and you gave a lot and they didn't budge. And that's what I feel like you're no longer need to worry about. You can just let it go here. See, it's about willingly releasing, trusting your intuition. See, um, yes, I see you still being a little, you know, careful what you wish for. Um, but I actually feel like you're going to get that cup. And I feel what that is going to be is the commitment. Yeah, taking a little pause. And it could be this person coming towards you, checking you out, taking a moment here. Uh, there could be a little pause here and there. But I feel it's just this person. Oh, yeah, they know. You may, this person may be, if, they're, if you're spending time with this person... Uh, I feel as though they're focused on their money and their finances. They're taking care of the house and the home, the children. It's an energy of someone who makes a comfortable home. So it's an energy of taking a pause here. I feel this person's kind of, when you're spending time, they kind of pull back and watch you. Um, the things you're focused on, uh, this energy of being comfortable. I feel this energy of two people being comfortable. But I actually feel they're trying to do things that way as well, you see. Yeah, it has to do with having faith. Two cards of having faith. Uh, two people who adore each other, admire each other. They may admire you because you're focused, you're grounded, you're practical. You're always prepared. You're always planning ahead. Always ready. You see, that's the way they see you. Somebody who is very balanced. They're really liking this energy. So there it is. See, the power. This person's determined. They want this to be successful. So whoever this is that's coming in, you know, they're definitely... Um, a person who wants this to move forward this could actually go somewhere so uh, it's an energy of feeling on top of the world but you see it's whatever you're looking for this person's been looking for the same thing you see that's why i feel there's faith two people having faith in the path that you're on two people who adore each other admire each other that you know everything you could dream for dream of here so lovely but they may take a pause here and there and just kind of, or you might see this person checking you out when you're working, doing your thing. <laughs> Some motions are going through. Uh -huh. So let's have one more look at this Nine of Cups. Yeah, see, it's being discerning, trusting your inner knowing, being wise, asking the questions. Some of you are definitely have someone who's not putting in the effort. That's why you're walking away from someone who isn't putting in the effort. This is your the past, what you're leaving behind. Too little, too late. Okay? Yeah. Someone with an ego. I feel it's an energy of somebody with a really big ego here. Um, but I feel what's coming towards you is someone who wants to have success yeah see looking out there could be someone who's never had children if you're a single parent so it's all good i feel and vice versa leo tell me about the six of cups yeah see teamwork cooperation compromise this is somebody who's looking for a team player a partner the things that they're going to be acknowledged someone's acknowledging see leaving this in the past acknowledging um what it is they're leaving behind <laughs> basically yeah i mean they're just walking away moving towards somebody who has faith the way they conduct themselves too um this person's i feel like they're helpful they do sweet things maybe they're helping you with your children you might connect through children as well but I feel it's an energy of someone longing, two people longing for someone compatible. Whatever you've been longing for, waiting for, is here, okay? Or it's coming in. But just be wise. Don't be afraid to be discerning and question things, okay? So somebody could give you some advice. Be careful what you wish for, okay? Um, definitely. Um, maybe somebody with Aquarius energy or Libra energy. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Some of you are cutting someone out because of the way they conduct themselves, plain and simple. 
Yeah, see, that's what I feel. That's the epiphany. You've got something better here. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, yeah. You're taking your power back from someone here. You may have had someone who was very controlling, too, trying to control the money. Uh, sometimes you get into a relationship, what I'm seeing. It popped into my head. This may only um, resonate with a couple people. But you get into a relationship with someone who really does. They're stubborn and selfish. Uh, they're holding on. They're protecting themselves, their house, their home, their money. You see, um, where if you are uh, the mother, uh, definitely protecting the children. Okay. So there's this energy of someone who really doesn't want to cooperate and compromise. They're more worried about themselves. Okay. It's a person who's worried about self. So this is what I feel like you're leaving behind. But what it's trying to tell me here, it's hard to put my finger on it. Um, It's an energy of this person um, who's behaved this way, okay? And that's where I feel. See, this is somebody here who chose their battles, see? Uh, they cho What they did is they made a choice. They refused to budge. If you were in a long-term relationship with somebody and this is how it was, yeah, you're longing for someone compatible, uh, somebody who cooperates and compromises, somebody who, who's a team player. This is not a team player. Uh, maybe it's somebody you were waiting to commit, they were just come in when they wanted attention. Okay. So I, I feel like you got a person here who just really wants to be free, to be honest, but they kept you stuck in a relationship. It's like they, and they don't want you to have success. You see, they try to keep you from having success. So that's where I feel this change is coming. The epiphany where you suddenly kind of let someone have it here. You have this epiphany to end it. The tower coming down. Why? It wasn't built on a solid foundation where this new energy is. So, yeah. See, you've got someone coming in suddenly offering you this cup of love. you got someone falling in love. You're going to, you and another person here are going to, you both had similar energies. Similar things happen, I feel. But what you're waiting for is here. It, it, it's coming. So whatever it is you need to let go of, now's the time to do it. Let go of past relationship baggage. Okay? Somebody who tried to keep you from being successful. Somebody who was stubborn. They were all about their own success, their own money. Where you were focused possibly on the children if there was. If there's no children, just disregard that. Because I definitely feel that quite strongly. Now, this is a person who likely never had children. Okay, often it's the case or they want them. So it's an energy where you're going down the path with someone here. We have a couple, two people going to become a couple and having faith and adore each other. But do make sure you let this person know that you appreciate them. Okay, vice versa. And I feel like that's what's going to happen. So there it is, incoming. See, end of delays, no more waiting. There's a change. So uh, this is a per I, I feel like you've got this person here who feels very confident about you and the decision they're making. See, we have two people again, confirmation. Uh, beautiful, beautiful energy, a soulmate connection. Some of you are making a choice to move away from someone, and it could be this person moving away from someone who doesn't pull their weight, keeps them from being successful. It almost feels like a person who refuses to maybe give someone a divorce or, you know, they, they don't, but they're all about themselves. So it, it does feel like a very controlling person, and they're losing control because you're going to take your power back, you see? And this other person's coming in. Uh, because they want to have success with you so yeah it's just a it's just a i feel like it's all kind of not necessarily happening at once but it has to do with the flow okay it has to do with the change change of direction uh, moving away from someone and it could be leaving a family behind okay you may have connections in that family you may be having to move away from that but i feel like you're about to uh, i'm going to tell you when you know someone is serious when they're, when they're not afraid to wear their heart on their sleeve, when they're not afraid to inter introduce you to their friends, their family, you see? And that's where I feel like you can be confident. So if you are a little curious or something you want to know or you feel like this person's keeping something from you, if, they, if you feel they're keeping a secret, it's more than likely that they actually want to commit. You know, they may be waiting. There's some things that maybe just need to be acknowledged, but it looks really, really good. So this is just looking at things from their perspective, putting the shoe on the other foot 
and cooperating and compromising. See, I think this person sees you as stable, always preparing, always being ready, always planning ahead. They really like this. This could really go somewhere. It's hard to say, but it looks as though this is someone who definitely, uh, if they've never been married, they're definitely looking at that. So let's have a look at, we're going to start up here with the three of pentacles where you start to go down this other path. So there's the star releasing things that no longer serve. Whether it's yourself or someone else, it could be baggage. Uh, there's the energy, see, forget me not energy. Now that's an energy of that waiting, see, waiting for your ship to come in, waiting for someone more compatible, somebody who's a team player, a partner who pulls their weight. See, where they don't put all the burdens and responsibilities onto you because they refuse to budge. They're saving their money, holding on to their money. If you were in a long-term relationship with someone like this, oh my gosh. Especially if you had someone who you sacrificed a lot uh, for the children. Um, you know, when you weren't as focused on your success, you're more worried about the family unit. And then you had another person who was all about themselves. That is some tough stuff. So, but you're moving away from that. So we have uh, J and M. We have an energy. This is the energy of standing still, balance. This is an energy of pulling back, looking at things different. So it's about the balance between two people. See, it's where things are at a standstill, you see, because you're waiting for something. Yeah, you're. It's too little, too late. Whatever it is, you're you're freeing yourself from this. There's the there's the crown. You see beautiful there's the energy of abundance and strength being confident about the path that you're on with this person there's the seeing see the seashell let's have a look at the queen of cups the letter a there's the star releasing things that no longer serve being strong and confident about a decision yeah i feel like you you probably feel that way but i feel this person is looking at you that way they see you as strong loving nurturing caring kind and compassionate very compassionate but strong okay so if there is children it's somebody who's kind and compassionate but strong so little energy of discipline here which is good but it's balanced lovely then we have an energy of the peace sign with a heart yeah, see, making peace with the past, leaving it behind. There's the abundance starting to flow, the, the grapes. So if you've sacrificed a lot to do with your, uh, to love, to nurture and care for a family, and you had someone who kept you stuck, trying to keep you from being successful, you're moving towards success. You're definitely focused on your money here. So lovely. So there's the, um, the key. Key to the heart. What is the key? Cooperation and compromise. And we have uh, the ring. So yeah, it has to do with marriage and commitment here. This is two people connecting, drinking from each other's cup, sharing your feelings back and forth here. Uh, things speeding up and the delays. Some of you might have a couple of people here. You're going to choose, if you do have multiple opportunities, I actually feel um, you're going to be confident. It's an energy of feeling confident about a decision. I feel like you'll do the right thing. You're going to do what's right uh, for yourself. If you have children, definitely from them because there's that protection. So, yeah. Whew. I see J and P. There's a guitar. So this could be someone who likes music, things that you have in common. This has been coming out a lot. <laughs> um yeah, you may have been with somebody where there were strings attached as well. That's something you'll be moving away from. You're freeing yourself. It's energy of freedom. And when you find love, what you're waiting for, this is where it's going to be simple. It's going to be easy. This person is going to make your life easier. Okay, they're going to pull their weight, unlike this other person who refused to budge. Now, you can flip this around. It could be yourself, you see, letting go of things that no longer serve, but take it as it resonates there's the star so this is definitely uh, somebody here who likes a lot of attention <laughs> uh, definitely someone who probably gets a lot of attention but i feel someone's looking at you that way you see there's the the, the justice so it's about justice financial stability i feel it's about starting off on the right foot and i feel like this next relationship you're doing things right
okay starting off on the right foot putting all the cups on the table sharing your feelings emotional intimacy you see yeah the soulmate connection some of you definitely this is something you've been longing for is your best friend your partner your soulmate yeah there's a little heart there let's have a look at the soulmate connection here i see an s and an f and i see a uh, four leaf clover so there's definitely some good luck here <laughs> yeah and then i see there's a good omen so there's some really good energy good omen good energy here letter c and there's the fan somebody this is two people who admire each other adore each other yeah you're each other's biggest fan so it's, it's a soulmate it's a friendship so i feel like it's going to start off as a friendship yeah, i feel like it's definitely this could actually go somewhere i feel this person's really just kind of you know looking at things from a different perspective and it could be you um seeing things somebody focused on their money their house their home always prepared and i feel it's really important somebody who's family oriented uh, but balance this is somebody balancing you see i love that the letter g there's energy two people see very much the same very connected you're just enough different different here um, to bring balance between the two of you it's definitely a very good fit i see some air energy that could be um, communication uh, travel could be someone at a distance but you know, the airplane is to me is communication it's air energy so you both may have some air in your chart so it's about how you connect the way you communicate lovely so let's have a boo at let's look at this ace of cups this offer this person's going to offer you this cup <laughs> a y and a q right on time that's the q the timing so this is someone who's just waiting for the right time so if you are when you start seeing this person or you're seeing them uh, definitely let go of everything okay make sure you put the shoe on the other foot look at this person's perspective vice versa oh yeah and i i feel it has to do with the timing i see yes um, so if there's something you want to know the answer is yes <laughs> there's the cycle ending things going in your favor you see nice and the letter t let's have a look at the chariot so there it is what you're manifesting strength confidence see this is someone determined that this is successful so they're willing to cooperate and compromise they're going to help you they're dependable okay a team player there's the star see where's that white star there it is when these two come out this is two people who are very much the same yet a little bit different and in a way that creates its own balance if you know anything about the yin and yang energy so lovely and there's the heart you know this person's definitely somebody fall gonna fall in love there's love here great big heart this is somebody with a really big heart they see you that way too okay so they're looking at you from a different perspective and it's probably vice versa just agreeing to disagree being calm being balanced yeah, so that's a true partner when you can see eye to eye in a lot of things and if you have differences you can cooperate or compromise but i don't see you bending over backwards to please somebody i feel like you've been there so it's really about balancing that out too both people so let's have a look at the outcome yeah this whole cycle's over you've got a new opportunity here uh, looks like a fresh new start uh, it's also with a um, the Pisces energy the hangman it's a fresh approach okay to how you look at relationships so gorgeous little reflection on the past so there it is the royal you empress energy <laughs> about to get something you want this person will treat you like royalty they admire you they adore you make sure you acknowledge that with them the things that you adore about them make sure that you uh, let them know okay so they feel that uh energy because that's probably the only thing i feel like you're kind of uh, you know you're i feel like you're trying to you're confident about your feelings there's no doubt there but i feel it's whether or not it's like there's something that still needs to be exposed it'll happen uh, but it has to do with doing it at the right time and if you're worried about this person committing long term i feel like they will 
Okay, the answer is yes. Uh, things should go in your favor here. But if you don't cooperate and compromise, if you don't let go of old habits, traditions, beliefs, the way you conducted yourself, whatever didn't work in the past, if it has to do with you, that's where you might have trouble. So, okay, that's the only thing. Open the door to discover. See, there's beautiful star energy, lots of star energy here. It's energy of letting someone discover you. See, someone's looking at you. They're discovering you. See that everything you have to offer, the abundance, marriage material, let this person be a little mysterious here and there, but don't hold back too much, okay? Make sure you acknowledge how you feel with this person, all the things that they do for you. Yeah, wow, you're about to be treated like royalty from this person. <laughs> yeah, because they, they want things to go in their favor really bad here. There we go. And we have, see, uncharted sea. There's things that still need to be discovered as you learn about each other. Friends first, sharing your feelings, putting it all out there. But I actually feel it's positive, the merry motive. So it's very playful, very positive. This person has good intentions. Okay, the merry motive. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fiery energy. So yeah if you have someone here you feel keeps you stuck they only come in when they want attention look at their motives watch how they conduct themselves that's where you're likely going to decide uh, to move on okay is it if you are a single parent or you want children and someone doesn't they refuse to budge and give in now it could be you had a relationship like that maybe ended up having a child and this person refused to uh, help out because of it because they were stubborn um, if you got pregnant or something with someone here yeah i don't know what's happened here but i can see a lot of different scenarios but what you're waiting for is coming i feel the ship has sailed where time runs out for this person because you've got this what you've been wanting all along this longing is coming okay wow one more yeah so there it is the roses kiss so this is being a little cautious okay yeah make sure you cooperate and compromise as well but i feel like it's mostly this person so there's definitely something you're letting go of yeah there's the harmony see this is the harmony that you're working for you're going to let go of someone who doesn't have the best intentions someone who keeps you stuck or keeps you single or you're in a relationship you've been in one um i feel here and you free you're freeing yourself and you're waiting okay so definitely don't sit around and wait for somebody that keeps you stuck okay yeah keep looking but it's there <laughs> everything's going to be exposed see everything is going to be revealed the high priestess is here twice for you and the other as you express yourself and you learn you're still discovering you're going to be discovering all kinds of beautiful new things about each other with this new person okay so that's what it's telling you to look at to expose and reveal show your true self okay don't bend over backwards to please somebody. Let them know who you are right off the get-go, which I kind of feel is going to happen, but there's still more things you're going to discover. And I actually feel there's a lot of harmony between you and this new person. And it's this other energy I feel that you're leaving behind. It's almost complete. Someone who didn't have very good intentions, you see? Yeah. Whatever it is in the past, leave it. I feel it's here for a very specific reason. It wants you to look at it, okay? The things that kept you stuck, kept you trapped in a situation, why you held on waiting for somebody, okay? They may have been giving attention to other people or just interested in you coming in when they wanted attention and then they hold back. Uh, sometimes it's a person who hold back, holds back their love and affection too, you know? So you're, what you've been waiting for is there. I love, your, I love this energy for you. It's just a, a matter of letting go of old habits, traditions, baggage. Um, and, and it's a beautiful two people coming together healing. It's a healing energy. But it's about two people having faith in the path that you're on. See, So take care. Leo, this is really gorgeous energy. I feel like you'll have a lot of things in common. Uh, with this person you're going to have differences but yet you're still a very good fit so the balance is there okay take care and we'll see you soon